Yo, what's up guys? I'm Greg. I'm back in my man cave today for another DIY project. And today I'm going to show you how to build your own studio lights. Now the reason I want to build my own studio lights is because it's cheap and I'm working on a budget. I can't afford to buy proper studio lights, it's just too expensive. Now the two additional lights I'm going to be installing is actually used inside a suspended ceiling. It's a 600 by 600 panel light and the nice thing about this light is it already comes with a white film in front. So my concept is quite easy. Imagine this is the light, imagine this is your arm, I'm going to build a bracket on the light to fit on this arm but at the same time the light must be able to move where I want it to be and then on top of this I'm gonna add this I don't know what you call this but anyway and then I'm gonna be able to move this on the roof trusses wherever I want the light so it's basically mobile I can put the light anywhere I want Okay guys, so I'm done cutting my wood that's going to hang from the roof trusses. Now I just need to join them together. I'm going to use some wood glue and I'm going to use these steel L brackets to join my wood together. Just like that. So let's get that done quickly. bolt for the light needs to connect with my brand ring that's coming from the roof and by doing that is I bought these two brackets from my local hardware store you'll see one's got a female hole and the other one's got a, a male pin now these two is basically connecting together Okay guys, I just finished both hanging brackets and I'm quite happy with how they came out. It's quite an easy build. It's two pieces of pine timber 38mm by 76mm screwed together with a steel L bracket on both sides. And I did install additional two screws just to make sure that it's very tight. I did decide to go with an additional bracket on top, tilted slightly down with an angle. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to need this, but now I do have this additional bracket if I'm gonna need it. But for now, let's start building the brackets for the light. I just finished the brackets for the lights I had to screw these two aluminium sections together to create my own bracket where the light is gonna sit inside now if I could recommend doing it differently and my mistake I've made is instead of using a L aluminium section to use a square aluminium section and why I'm saying this is where I had to join these two aluminium sections together I had to use tech screws and now I'm sitting with this problem all my tech screws is, is sticking out.
truth. Let's see if this baby works. Our brackets is installed. The light is in. The light already comes with the plug. Now I just need to see if my contraption works. Start with the top one. This is the one with the slight angle. Now it's installed. Now the bottom one. Nice. It actually works. I'm going to put the light at the back off. Then we're going to see if the light actually works. Actually see if it works. Yes! connect this with my truck okay guys oh. on this bracket if it makes sense at all a few moments later oh. 